Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So and today I want to talk about 10 budget items that you can gift your photographer or videographer friend this coming holiday season. But before we get started, we have to get into the Christmas spirit. You have to have the ugly Christmas sweaters, but we're missing one more thing. Much better. So we're nearing the end of the year and it comes with my favorite time of the year, which is Christmas. I don't know about you, but I start tuning in to Christmas music about the first week or the second week of November. So with the holiday season coming up and with many of us still not being able to see people face to face physically, I hope that you still are able to connect with those around you online and still celebrate the season. If you have a really good friend who's a photographer or a filmmaker, either a pro or enthusiast or a hobbyist, it gets quite hard knowing what to buy them because their hobby is a quite expensive hobby because the gear that they use could be expensive. You know, a $2,000 camera, a $1,000 lens, and one item like that would just blow up your entire budget for all your Christmas gifts. But it actually doesn't have to be like that. There are actually a lot of budget accessories that you could give your photographer or filmmaker friend. So today I wanted to share 10 items with you and all of these items will be under 50 US dollars. Some of these items I personally own, some of these other ones I do not own, but I would like to get them in the near future. You can check out all of these items in the description below to see if this is something you could gift someone. The first item I want to talk about is a Gorilla Pod. These Gorilla Pods come in different varieties, but you can get a pretty decent one for around $50. And they're very useful and very handy, not only for filmmakers, but also photographers. My favorite part about this Gorilla Pod is that it's so small and very portable, and I can pretty much bring it to any shoot that I go to. These are gonna help you to stabilize your video footage, to get time lapses, long exposure photography, landscape photography, and in different situations when you need to have your camera stable. And instead of bringing a full-fledged tripod, you can just bring one of these. The other cool thing about these guys is that the legs bend in weird places, so you can put them in any terrain. You can also use this as a stabilizer to hold your camera if you vlog a lot too, so pretty handy for that. So in my opinion, this is a must-have for any photographer or videographer. The second thing I wanted to talk about is this little pocket-sized LED light. This particular model is the, ooh, it's bright. It's the Aperture Amaran ALM9. It's a very strong light for its size. It comes in its little pouch with a couple gels, a warm gel and a cool gel. And these are very useful for a variety of scenarios. Let me turn this off because it's very bright right now. But if you're shooting product photography, if you want it extra light, if you want it something to light the background, these can come in very handy. And because they're so small and light, it doesn't hurt to bring them to all the shoots that you go to. And you can clip it to your backpack or your pants maybe, making it even more portable. The next thing I wanted to talk about is this wired lavalier mic. So these ones are actually pretty budget friendly. So if currently you do not have any sort of microphone for your videos, this can add production value to your videos. If the sound in your video is not good, your video, no matter how good it looks, it's just not gonna be good. So the best thing to do to improve your videos is to get a microphone. And this is very budget friendly. It works on DSLRs, on mirrorless cameras, and even on cell phones. The cable is quite long, so you can plug it into your camera in front of you and bring this all the way and clip it onto yourself. The next item I wanted to talk about is the variable neutral density filter one of these guys. So what these guys do is they block in the amount of light that comes into your camera. And this can be very useful, especially in sunny outdoor scenarios. If you wanna get long exposure photos, or if you want to have a shallow depth of field, these are gonna come in very handy when you're outdoors. You don't have to spend too much money on these to get a very decent and very usable one. This one's actually about $20, and I did a video recently comparing this to a $250 filter, and this one performed quite well considering its price. This is a variable ND filter, and what this does is that it changes the strength of the density all in one filter. There's individual ND filters that you can get, but the problem with those is that you have to carry an entire set if you want different strengths of density. But with this, you can just rotate it and get different strengths. This next item is related to lighting. This is the Diffuse Collapsible Softbox, and this is the uh, medium version. And this is what it is. It is a small softbox that you can use to soften the light coming out of your LED light. Comes with a little magnet over here that you can use to build the frame of this softbox. And it comes with Velcro straps so you can attach the LED panel at the back right here 
and you're gonna get that layer of diffusion to soften the light, giving you more pleasant light. And softer light makes your talent look a lot more pleasant. So with this, you'll be giving the gift of a pleasant look. And what's cool about this one is that it's, it comes in this little pouch that you can carry around anywhere too. So it's very portable, very light. The next thing is a vintage lens. For example, I have this Minolta 50mm lens with an aperture of f2 that I got a couple years ago for under $50. The really cool thing about really old lenses is that they give you a very interesting look as opposed to modern lenses. And the bokeh or the blurriness in the background that you get with vintage lenses is usually a lot more interesting. So if you wanted to gift a lens, you could gift one of these. And a 50 millimeter focal length is a very useful focal length for any portraits, headshots, and things like that. And with an F2 stop, it makes them great for low light. The only drawback is that there is no autofocus on these lenses, so you have to adjust that manually. And you also have to get an adapter to adapt this lens to whatever camera you use. The next item is a macro extension tube. If you're not a macro photographer or you occasionally just need a macro shot, this would be a great addition to your arsenal without spending too much money. And if you're serious about macro photography and want to get into it, this is a good alternative to get started and to play around with macro shots. So these tubes add a little bit more space between the sensor and the camera lens. And somehow magically you're able to get macro shots just like that. The next item is the Ulanzi anamorphic lens for cell phones. So if you ever watched a movie or a high production TV show, you often see these horizontal lens flares that look really nice. And this makes the footage look very cinematic. So if you are on your cell phone and wanted to get that look, you can get this anamorphic lens. You're going to be able to get the anamorphic look straight out of the bat out of this lens. And honestly, to get started, it's a really cool thing to play with. The next item I want to talk about is a top handle. A lot of cinema cameras like my old C100 come with top handles. It really helps to make your handheld footage a lot more stable. And they also help if you do a lot of low shots, you can just carry them this way. You're going to be able to get very steady shots without the need of a gimbal. So highly recommended piece of accessory. You can also mount different things on it like an extra articulating arm or a shotgun mic. So this is a very neat accessory to have for all of your video needs. So the last item that I have for you is this little toy drone. These are very useful if you've never flown a drone and you wanted to practice your skills before you go and buy yourself an expensive drone. These are pretty good to have to practice at home. These little guys can really take a beating. So no matter if you crash it a thousand times at home, they'll still work. And winter is coming, meaning less of a chance to fly our drones. And if you're itching to fly a drone when it's really cold outside and you can't, you can just fly one of these inside. All right, so these are all the gift ideas I wanted to share with you today. I hope you found this video useful and that it inspired you on some holiday gift ideas on a budget. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe on your way out and hit that bell notification button to be in the know of future content. Your support will be greatly appreciated. Do you guys like ugly Christmas sweaters? Let me know in the comments below if you do. All right, so that is all for today, guys. Until next time.